Hello and thanks for watching Island Reaction. I am Cameron Cooper. This is my good friend Dennis and we are going to demonstrate with the Lifetime 55 quart cooler like I mentioned in the previous video giving a review of this cooler how Dennis's idea you can use rock salt which is used to make ice cream how to cool the inside temperature of your uh, ice and water and the inside contents. So without further ado, let's get today's video underway. Now, the first thing you want to do is have ice. So what I've done, the cooler is empty. I got a couple of bags of ice just for the demonstration. So in that point, you might call this sacrificial ice, but I'll talk about sacrificial ice later on in the video. All right, so now I picked this ice up you know, I don't know, 30 minutes ago, maybe 45 minutes ago, it's been inside the ice chest, so it was melting, but it was fine because I wanted to add water to it for this demonstration. Now, Dennis, you were mentioning, that's a demonstration of an ice. Uh, you were mentioning about uh, how much water would you want in the cooler along with your ice for the purposes of cooling down the ice and ice water. I basically well, cooling down the ice water or the cooler uh, down with the rock salt. It brings the temperature down. How much water do you think you'd want? We have limited ice here, but this is just a demonstration. I really wouldn't add any water because it'll make its own water and ice. But just put some rock salt on top of it. But for the purposes of this demonstration, how much? Because it's about that much here. Maybe about this much ice, uh, ice water or water in the bottom of the cooler, and it would get there on its own, okay, because it's going to start melting the ice. But for the purposes of the demonstration, we're going to add a little bit of water to this because we're going to lower the temperature down. So I'm going to put a little bit of water in here and just assume that you would normally not have to add water to it because it's going to melt and create its own water. Let's throw some water in there real quick. Okay, so we've got about that much water in the bottom of the ice chest. And we'll move that around. Now, a couple of things. Now, this is for demonstration purposes. If you wanted to do this on your own, depending on how critical the situation is for what you're trying to keep cold, besides like maybe like cold drinks, maybe any kind of meats or fish if you're camping and you're fishing and you want to keep them cold, maybe a more critical situation, I'm going to cover that for you as well. I don't know the, the temperatures needed for certain food items, for safety issues, don't, don't look to me for that. But knowing what I can tell you here, you can apply these to your own situation for the contents of your cooler. Now, a couple different coolers we're using here is this little cooler, and I've dangled that there on the edge. It's 64 degrees in there and the lid's open. I'm going to go ahead and close it right now so we don't warm it up anymore. Now what I did, uh, this particular, uh, this particular little um, thermometer is just, it's going to stay out, it won't be in the water, it's not submersible, so it's there, got it on Amazon. This little tiny box, I got it in Amazon, they shipped it to me in this box. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Thanks, a Amazon. Bigger box. Now this is uh, it's about like ten bucks, and it's a, it's basically a cooler refrigerator thermometer, non-submersible, so you don't want to dip it down into the water. Okay. So I just want to know what is my overall temperature of the contents in the cooler. I've got that there, and I just look at it like that. Sixty-four degrees in there right now, but wow. the lid's been open. Wait, I now, drop. I do want to. Uh, let you guys know if it is important for whatever contents you have to know 
how cold is the water that items are in? That's not going to tell you that. It's only telling the overall temperature of the air inside the cooler. Important. This is a thermometer which will be able to dip down into the ice water. So you can see the face. Yeah. Good idea, Dennis. So it's got the big dial, and it does go from zero to 200 degrees. I got this at a food warehouse store that for restaurants, open to the public. It's called Shamrock. Now, we are actually going to go ahead and check that now. And it comes with, this was about $9.58, I think. It comes with a little holder and a little pocket deal. I had a pocket and you put it like that. So if you're working in the industry, something's blocking that from going down. Oh, there's the other one. No, I don't know. Anyway, you have to figure that part out. I'm not using it in my pocket, but this is for food industry. So if you're running around in the meat house and uh, you wanted to check things and probe it into the side of a cow, it could tell you how cold it's it is. It's got a section where you can, water can get in there. You know, oh, okay. it'll go in there. There's a four. Yeah. All right, that's okay. For purposes of the video, we'll, we'll assume that you can figure out how to stick that into the pencil holder, whatever. But nevertheless, this is all stainless steel. It is submersible. And now I would, I don't know, it probably is submersible, the whole thing, but certainly all this area would be. But there is your dial going from zero to 220 degrees. Okay, so I suppose you could mount this inside your cooler if you had a certain level and had a place to put it and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm gonna talk about mounting the other thermometer in just a moment, how I did it, how easy it was, and how many problems people have had trying to mount uh, cooler thermometers inside their cooler and how it didn't work. Mine worked, and I'm gonna tell you how to do it in a minute. But let's go ahead and check the temperature of the ice water right now. All right, Dennis, I'm gonna borrow your ice probably. Uh, let's dip that down in there and I guess let it stay there for a second. Wow, yeah, look at that. See it dropping? Okay, I think we probably... Boy, that, that really was fun. We probably need to get the camera over here. I'm going to get the camera over here. Okay, now, let's see, Dennis. Yeah, All really... right, so there you can see, what's it hitting at, Dennis? Uh, 40, uh, 30, it's about 37, 30. Oh, that's... Is it in the red zone? Uh, no, but it's uh, down... Uh... What, what is the red zone? Is that about, hot or cold? About 30. It's at about 30. Uh, oh, that's for hot. Okay. 30, 36, 36. Oh, it's so about 36 now? Yeah. Okay, and that's in the ice water. And and when I stuck that in there, you saw the dial. It immediately start dialing back. Yeah, it went down. Like, like it was it. racing. Okay. Now what we're going to do. Put that rock salt in there. Yeah. Now, like Dennis has said, Dennis gave me this idea. Is This is rock salt, Morton, and... Uh, it came in a cardboard box, like at the grocery store, for like two dollars. <laughs> That's gonna make you rust, Dennis. You're gonna have to oil yourself again. So, it's it's a big grain salt. It's big grain, guys. It's not for food, okay? It's for making ice cream. But now, Dennis, what happens exactly? You put the rock salt in. And it's going to drop the temperature of the of the water down. Uh, yeah, like just to, like that's what like they to almost freeze it because they make ice cream with ice it, right? Cream, yeah. So to freeze, you have to be like below thirty two degrees. Uh, yeah. Well, thirty two is freezing. Thirty two is freezing. So right now we're at thirty six with the ice water. Okay. So we need to drop it down a little bit more to make it down to low thirty two. Let's see if we can. Now, how much do you recommend that we throw in there? Uh, yeah, about a. Now, I don't want to mess cup. up your, your a cup. I don't want to rust your uh, hands. Yeah. About a cup. But uh, so I'll do the dipping. So you say about a cup? Uh -huh. So maybe uh, like two of these? Or yeah, two or three, two three, or three? Three, of them, yeah. three three of these. Sprinkle it all across. I'm gonna sprinkle it all across like that. Do I have to mix it up? Uh, no, that's good. I'm gonna sprinkle it across in here. Oh boy. About three of them, so you end up with about a cup. Yeah, that was good. All right, so we put in uh, three hand handfuls, which is equal to about a cup. Okay. Now, um, is it is it moving down? Is it lowering? Uh, yeah, it dropped a degree right there. Okay, let's go ahead and grab it and take another look. 
Ten man? It won't be that fast, but... Oh, you right. give it ten minutes, it'll be, ten, it'll be way down. Oh, there. you give it like ten minutes? Yeah, it, it dropped a degree right away, though. Can you see it actually moving, or it's too uh, too slow to see it move? Uh, yeah, it'll be too slow. Why, why don't you uh, just take it uh, take it out and then put it in, because then you'll see the real difference. Okay. And then hold So that. where were we at right there? 36, 35? Uh, about 36, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to take this out for a moment, because I want to talk about We're going to let this continue to do its thing. Should I close the lid or let it stay open so it keeps dropping? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to let this warm up for a second. Now, what I want to do right now before we go back to show you the temperature drop, we yeah. were at like 36 or 37 degrees without this, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this little guy right here, um, it comes with a, like a little, a little thing that you can hook it on. It's got a little tiny magnet that you could stick it on like maybe your inside of your freezer. But for something like a cooler, that little tiny magnet wouldn't work. You can't, you don't want to drill into one of these to try to mount this and hook it onto the hook with a screw or something like that because once you penetrate this opening and moisture can go inside the, the inside of your cooler, mold could get in there and it could, it could come back out into your food items. Not a good idea. Ruin your cooler. So this little guy, how did I mount it? I'm going to tell you right now. It basically had a little hook edge, but I couldn't mount it to the actual cooler. I didn't want to submerge it. So what I did was, ah, a nice long, this is about maybe less than a foot, twist tie. And if, this is not paper, this is plastic. So if you get a, a, a twist tie, uh, get one that is plastic. I got the, I saved this from something I bought from Amazon, came packaging, but just a plastic twist tie. And what I did was, I had my little lip, and I didn't want to damage this this inside uh, ring for the seal. So I just draped it right there. I hooked it onto here. I twisted it really tight on the little hook of the of the thermometer. And this is so thin. This not gonna it's not gonna damage this little uh, gasket uh, yeah. thing. So then I just spun it around. I got a little place there to put a padlock on this thing, and I spun. I wrapped it around there. So it doesn't interfere, it doesn't damage my, my, my little gasket or whatever. It doesn't interfere with anything, and it's not falling off. So that's how I attach my little thermometer, guys. If you try to do like you stick it, glue it, try to screw it, you're screwed, okay? So do my thing, use a, use a twist tie, and that's gonna work. Let's, uh, let's see how we're doing, Dennis. Oh, wanna put it back in there? Uh, let's go ahead and film this as I stick it in. Let's see how far it goes down now. We're looking for 32. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, guys. Here we go. We want to go 10 below. <laughs> All right. So we're here now at about, uh, what is it, 80, no, about 90 degrees right here. Let's stick that in there and see if it drops down. Oops. It's at about 90 right now. Let's see if it's going to drop down to 32, Dennis. Put it like right over in there. Over in here. Oh, oh God. That shows you what happened. All already. right. So, <laughs> with that in mind, can you see it dropping? Oh, yeah. Is it moving? Oh, yeah. 30, 35. Now it's down about 34. Still dropping. dropping. 34 still dropping? Yeah, dropping. Now it's, let's see, that's 20, uh, you're right at about 20, uh, 26. Oh, I'm below 30 degrees. I'm below 32. Yeah. I'm hitting close to 20 degrees? Yeah, you're at about 30, uh, I mean 20, um, 20. Well, that was 30 there, so about like 25 anyway. 25, yeah. So there you go, guys. We've dropped this down with three hand, uh, three handfuls of rock salt, which is equal and, to about a cup. And that was just about, you were only about four minutes, so in about ten minutes, it'll be, it should be down about ten below. It'll continue dropping. Yeah. So that's rock salt, guys. So you saw it, we were at, about, how, much, how much was the temperature, Dennis? Uh, we were at like 37 degrees with just the ice and water. Yeah. Okay, added that rock salt, we waited less than ten minutes, and you can see right now, guys, we're bordering on 20 here pretty soon. 
which I don't know why you would need 20 degrees because the freezer in your house is what, 32? Uh, yeah, uh, 11, usually. Oh, 11. 11, oh. Degree, 11 degrees. 11 yeah. degrees. Oh, okay. So we're warmer than the inside of your freezer in the house, but 20 degrees, let's say, for example, with Captain Dale on his uh, boat there in San Diego, uh, yeah. he doesn't have electricity there to have a refrigerator, so something like this, he could like uh, have frozen, frozen fish or frozen seafood yeah. and know that it's going to be safe, right? Yeah. There you go, Captain Dale. Wait, In a way, I think oh, we, yeah. we did this especially oh, yeah. for you, sir. Yeah, you're looking at about 20... Uh, it's below 25. Uh. Uh, where's my camera? It's steady dropping. Uh. Well, I lost my focus. All right, but it's still steadily dropping. We're, we're bordering on 20 degrees. I'll let, uh, let that be there. So, you saw that. Right here on Island Reaction, this is the uh, Lifetime 55 quart cooler. It is excellent, $97 at Walmart, and uh, you can't beat it. Dennis gave us the idea about the rock salt to lower your temperature down. You saw proof in the pudding, as they say. You could have frozen food and keep it in an ice chest like this, and I don't know how long it would last. We can't do the test to tell you how many days you could keep a cold temperature like that, but you know, if you have like basically a gallon of, or a pound of this rock salt, actually this would be more than a pound because it's very heavy, but let's say a gallon of rock salt, or half a gallon of rock salt, and you're gonna throw some on there and keep the lid closed. Now, one thing I wanna mention, guys, is, um, and don't drink your soda too fast because you'll get a uh, freezer burn. Yeah, you'll, freezer. you'll get freezer burn and you'll get that, that, that mind yeah, freeze, yeah, that better. brain freeze kind of yeah. thing. So be careful about that when you use this, uh, this system, when you're drinking your cold drinks. But one thing, uh, seriously, Dennis, I want to mention this, um, is that a lot of people, when they're getting to go out on a big uh, camping exposition or something, and uh, they're going to be out there for a while, and, and every temperature degree matters, every minute matters, this kind of thing. For those nuts out there like that, um, you can actually uh, pre-cool before you go on your trip, before you load your cooler, you actually pre-cool your cooler. So you would use bags of ice, we call that sacrificial ice, okay, because you're going to waste some of it. You're going to pre-cool your cooler, ice chest, get that down yeah. to as cold as it's going to go. Yeah, -cool. Now all of your items that you're going to be putting in the ice chest, you also want to pre-cool those. So you would like have them in your refrigerator or your freezer, have those frozen or pre-cooled um, to where when, once your cooler is pre-cooled, your ice chest is pretty cool. Then you can add your ice and uh, add your rock salt, and then you could add your items into the ice chest, and you're giving yourself a little extended lifetime, um, no pun intended, lifetime cooler. You're giving yourself a little extended lifetime on your coldness of the inside contents of your cooler, whatever they may be. In my case, you know, there's nothing like an ice cold Heineken. Today's video is brought to you by Heineken. And also, we have another sponsor on our show. Today's video is brought to you by Get Your Kicks on Route 66. Guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us, a, give us a like. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks, Dennis, for, uh, for joining us here. He is, the, he is the rock salt this expert. He's probably done rock salt so much, he probably eats it, so he has to keep oiling his joints. If you have arthritis, Try some of this arthritis. Uh, it's great for squeaky, stiff joints. A little bit every day will keep you all looped, looped up and looking good. <laughs> That's our Island Reaction foremost expert on most items. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.